This video clip demonstrates the installation of Deuticrew software. Firstly, you will be presented with a new license agreement when you attempt to mount the DMG file which you downloaded from one of the Deuticrew websites. The installation itself is a simple drag and drop process. You may be required to authenticate the installation if you are not a machine administrator. Once the installation is complete, Simply double click on the Applications folder alias in the window to go to the Applications folder where you will find the newly installed DutyCrew folder which contains the DutyCrew software. DutyCrew software does not use any directories other than this one and leaves no debris behind if it is removed for any reason whatsoever. The DutyCrew application is the means by which the DutyCrew software system is started and stopped. If you drag the Duty Crew application to the dock, it can be launched very quickly from there. The Engine Controls button gives access to a complete Apache web server with PHP. The controls are simple, they are Start, Reload and Stop. In the event of errors, the system can be reset quite easily. If the controller has launched a Mozilla-based browser, then you should use the Reload button. If not, then you should use the stop and start buttons to reload the server and to launch the compatible browser. In Mac OS X Tiger, Safari is unstable with our content editor. This is why we have had to bundle the software with Portable Camino. As you can see here, Portable Camino is launching because the default browser is Safari. Had the default browser been Mozilla or a Mozilla based browser, then the default browser would have been launched instead. As you can see from the browser window, the Deuticrew software requires that you enter your email address. It needs to be entered twice and should be the same email address you used when you first registered with Deuticrew. After entering your information, the system will then check online to see if this machine has already been registered. In this case it has not, so it needs to be registered. Use the click here link. As you can see, it uses the email address you entered earlier. When you click the register this machine button, you will go online and be connected to the duty crew registration system. Your machine has now been identified, but it is not yet registered. You need to record a name for your machine which will identify it to you, and you should also enter your password. Your machine is now registered, and the process of generating a demonstration key for your machine has begun. The Duty Crew registration systems will inform you of the progress made by email. Those emails will be from no-reply at dutycrew.net. The first email will tell you that the instructions to process keys on your behalf have been sent. You should now wait for additional email from Dutycrew. In the next 15 to 20 minutes you should receive an email from Dutycrew informing you that your licenses have been uploaded. As you can see here, seven minutes later they have arrived. One email tells you that the license key has been uploaded and the other is your account password reminder. All you have to do is to click the stop and start buttons on the controller to reload the system and to launch the browser to the correct page on your machine. Now that the machine has been registered and loaded its keys, you can see that they have been loaded. It has loaded a demonstration key and the server and code versions of the system are at the bottom of the page. You may switch languages via the flag system at the top of the page. This can be done at almost any point within the system. And you may log in. 
No password is needed for this single user version shown here. You are now logged in, the software is installed and you are ready to make your first website with this system.